If this wasn't here, I don't know where I'd be. Karis and 18-month-old Deacon come to this baby bank in Bridgend each week. She's a cleaner at a local hospital and her partner works full-time in construction, but their wages haven't kept up with the booming cost of living and rising rents. I was a bit anxious at first coming in because obviously you're like, oh, it's a charity, you know. I'm on maternity pay, my partner's working. Like, you feel like you shouldn't have to go to charities to help feed your family, you know. But I finally got the courage to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I was so grateful. I got home and I cried. Like Here, parents can pick up nappies, formula, cribs and clothes. Even if it's just like nappies, well, Pampers is like a £10 for a bag of nappies. That's £10 I can put in my savings. You know, and it's, it doesn't seem like a lot of money to other people, but to pe for people like me, £10 is a lot of money. <laughs> Okie dokie, Karis, what would you like this week? What do you um, need? Please, can I get some wet Why? Of course. Tracy's worked here for years, but has seen a marked change in the past three. We've got families coming into us now where mum is holding down a job, dad is holding down, down a job, sometimes two jobs at once. And is there a sense that it's getting worse? Frighteningly, yeah. Baby banks across the UK say demand for their services rose by more than 50% between 2021 and 2023. In the last year alone, nearly 200,000 babies and children living in poverty have been supported by 148 baby banks. And support has come in many forms, including 100,000 bundles of clothes to keep children warm, more than 100,000 books to read and over 20,000 beds for children to sleep in. There are many drivers of child poverty. One of them, charities say, is the two-child benefit cap, which this week delivered the new Prime Minister his first rebellion. The eyes to the right. He suspended seven MPs for defying him by voting to scrap it, something the government says it can't afford. Today, the Department for Work and Pensions told us mass dependence on baby banks is unacceptable, but that public finances wouldn't allow for the cap to go. The reasons that families are coming to baby banks are multiple. They could be um, lack of affordable childcare, the fact that universal credit doesn't cover essentials, and work doesn't pay. It doesn't go for income doesn't go far enough because the cost of living is so high. But children can't wait. They only get one chance at childhood. So we think that the government should just pull the lever of abolishing the two-child limit right now. You are, my love, OK? Thank Already you for much. you. But many budgeting for even one child are buckling under the weight of rising bills, rents, mortgages and childcare costs. Here in Wales, the 15 hours free childcare available for under twos in England from September doesn't apply. Karis's grandmother helps look after Deacon to allow her to work part time. Uh, you know, I don't know where I would be without my family, without my friends, without these guys. Like, I, I was a mess and I'm slowly getting back mm -hmm. to where I am. It takes time. Say bye-bye. <laughs> the hand reached for, not that of the state, but of family, of friends, of a charity. Oh.